Oh, what is going on guys? Today I have a video to you about Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster, the top 5 worst weapons in the game. Now this guy is going to be based on the experiences that I have had in COD 4 on PS3 and some of the gameplay that I have seen during COD XP of the Modern Warfare Remaster gameplay that we have seen now. Before I jump into the video, just want to explain that thanks again for all the support on the latest videos um, and this video is going to be a follow up. Um, from the one that came out on Tuesday um, and like I said we're going to be doing kind of a, a bit of a series um, just to kind of give you guys an insight in this video especially guys I'm going to go over the guns which you really do not want to use when uh, the Modern Warfare Remastered game comes out um, if you guys want to check out the best guns the guns that you want to use to do well make sure you check out the previous video and it will be all right there so uh in this video guys i'm just going to go down from number five to number one with number one being the worst of the gun so at number five here we have the g3 now uh it, this really it wasn't too bad of a gun obviously it it was very similar to the i believe it was the m14 and if anything it comes in here just as a, a kind of a weapon to come in at number five it's not it's quite difficult actually to say but the g3 you know single shot weapon um damage again pretty high um it, it just often uh, fell below the m14 the rapid fi uh, the fire rate uh you know not not the best in the world um in general it, it wasn't that the stats weren't great it's just the overall feel of the weapon wasn't you know too good and the g3 wasn't you know a very popular weapon back in cold 4 the reason you're seeing here a previous gen uh, images that actually no one no gameplay I could find of the remastered just proving why this gun you know isn't that good so realistically you know you can give this gun a go um, but not one I suggest uh, for all of you to try only the most skilled now if we move on to number four we have the M60E4 and now this is an LMG and uh, we know that LMGs in COD 4 are pretty good um, RPD being the best one as you may have seen in the best weapons uh, for COD 4. Now the M60E4, uh, it is a LMG, uh, fairly slow, apologize about that notification, we have a ver fairly slow fire rate, the, the recoil again is not too good on this gun, damage however is pretty good but like I said just in general the gun doesn't feel too good to use, uh, it feels quite slow, again low mobility, like again with the fire rate, the recoil, doesn't feel a very good weapon again those that only really sit far back with the foregrip are going to be able to use this especially those which are, are more skilled with the game are more for, familiar with cod 4 so um the m 6 e 4 comes in and number four um just not the worst weapon just not good overall now if we move on to number three i apologize for the poor image couldn't find anyone that was using the mini uzi or modern warfare remastered however number three comes the mini uzi as i just said guys now the mini uzi We've seen it from loads of Call of Duties. Now, this uh, this gun uh, we've seen in COD 4. There are very, very good SMGs. You know, the MP5, the AK-74U. You know, the list goes on. The P90, um, the Mini Uzi coming in. It, you know, it's a second or a submachine gun. Little hint right there. Mini Uzi, you know, high fire rate, recoil. Um, pretty, pretty high recoil actually, and damage again not too good. Obviously, but some Russian gun, some machine gun. This gun can be okay if you know how to use it pretty well. But in general, you know, with the recoil, the fire rate, it, it doesn't make it too much of a comfortable weapon to use in COD 4. And this is why I couldn't find any uh, pictures of this on the remastered. But the Mini Uzi comes in at number 3. Now, at number 2, we have the MP44, an assault rifle. Um, one that we've seen in, ad in Advanced Warfare actually, especially his gameplay, people were complaining uh, about Advanced Warfare sounds. Anyway, onto the, uh, onto the picture now, MP44 is a pretty slow fire rate assault rifle. Um, the clip I believe is 30, so pretty standard. Uh, the recoil, um, and what makes this really bad, the recoil, you know, the aim down is the fire rate. The fire rate really low, however the recoil is pretty high along with poor iron sights now. With poor arrow sights, it means that you have to run a red dot. Uh, obviously, not like in this gameplay, but often you have to run a red dot. You know, taking up your attachments. The gun itself isn't very good. You know, the damage isn't too good. Um, again, those that are only experienced, you know, how to play COD 4 will be the ones that will run this. And this is the only gameplay I could find on the Modern Warfare Remastered. So, the MP44, not a very good weapon overall. Um, 
So that comes in at number two, but number one, guys, we have the Scorpion. Fun news why this guy's running suppressed. Um, but the Scorpion, what can I say? Such a small mag. It is an SMG. Um, and especially, you know, the record again, not too good, you know, side to side, up and down. Uh, the fire rate is pretty good, um, you know, pretty average. Uh, damage, oh, very, very low damage. And the problem with this gun is the range. Now, the range out of all the guns, it drops off the most. Um, and all the submachine guns out of all of them, even including the mini Uzi, the Scorpion drops off so much earlier. And so this gun is a pea shooter at medium ranges, like medium ranges. It's probably from here to that bloke over there, which will take an awful lot of shots. So the Scorpion, guys, is one that you probably want to stay uh, away from. However, you know, if you're trolling, go ahead and use it. But that is all for this video, guys. You know, if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like. More coming out, including the, uh, the best snipers in the game. But thanks all for watching, guys. Make sure you drop a like, comment uh, for any tips, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in a bit, guys, with another video.